Okay, can I get you sitting in a comfortable seated position to be begin today's class? Either placing your hands on your thighs or knees, wherever is most comfortable for you. Palms facing upward. We're just going to take a few deep breaths here as we settle into this session and set our intentions for today's class. Full yoga breaths here, breathing right through the stomach up into the chest as you exhale, drawing your navel towards the spine. Closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable. Just a couple more breaths here. One more deep, full breath. Inhale all the way in, inflating right through to the chest. Exhaling completely, drawing the navel towards the spine. On your next inhale, I would like you to drop your left ear over towards your shoulder. Inching your right hand out to your side, just getting a stretch through your neck and shoulder here, drawing your left ear down towards the left shoulder. Just a couple more breaths in this pose. If you wish, you can place your left hand on the top of your head, just helping to draw your right ear further away from your right shoulder, not pulling it, just Gently allowing gravity to draw our ear down. We inhale to release, hands back to our knees, coming back to centre. Shoulders, remembering shoulders drawn down and away from our ears. We're going to switch sides now, dropping our right ear towards our right shoulder, getting a stretch through the neck. Inching our left arm out to the side, just to deepen this stretch if you wish. Taking your right hand to the top of your head just to allow gravity to help us deepen this pose. Not forcing your neck down, just letting gravity to do the work. Inhale, returning once more to centre, bringing our hands back to our knees, palms facing up. Then taking a couple more deep breaths here, rolling the shoulders down and away from the ears. Okay. Turning around now to our right side, planting our hands, coming over into a tabletop position, bringing our hands directly underneath our shoulders, knees directly under our hips, toes pointing back, fingers spread wide, index and middle finger pointing towards the top of our mat. Take a deep inhale as we take our gaze up and overhead, dropping our belly towards the floor for care. Exhale, rounding the spine, chin to chest, and then come into your cat pose. Just going with your own breath now, focusing on lengthening through exhale and inhale. Warming up our spine as we move dynamically through cat and cow. Closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable. Mm 
Three more breaths here. Once more. Returning to our tabletop position. From here, we are going to drop our elbows directly where our hands were on the mat. Exhale, walking that the knees back to draw our heart and forehead down towards the mat, coming to the puppy pose. Just holding this pose, allowing your heart to draw down towards the mat, closing down the eyes as you open up the up. Inhale, coming up onto all fours once more for tabletop. From here, we are going to press up into the downward facing dog. Just taking a moment to walk out the legs, just paddling them, adding some juicy twists from side to side, elongating through our side body. Just warming up the hamstrings. Step the feet forward, meeting the hands, folding forwards, keeping a bend in your knees at this point if you need to. As we warm up our hamstrings, just relax through the back of the neck, grasping onto your elbows, helping to draw yourself down towards the mat. Let's twist, wobble a little bit from side to side, rolling the weight over into your toes as we just warm up our body. Sweeping your hands out to the side, rounding up through the spine, hands overhead, over Hastasana. Exhaling to bring your hands to heart center. We're going to go through a series of sun salutations now, beginning in mountain pose, either standing with your feet hips width apart, if you are particularly tight for your hamstrings or feet toes together. Inhale, take your hands up and overhead, over the stasana. Exhaling as you fold forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhale to come up, looking forward for a halfway lift with the straight back. Exhale to plant the hands, stepping back into your plank. Fingers spread wide for stability. Wrists under, aligned under your shoulders. Draw your elbows in as you press down through Chaturanga into upward facing dog. If upward facing dog is not available for you, just come up into low cobra. What is most comfortable for you, do that. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Exhale, pressing back into downward facing dog. Pressing down through the palms of the hands, throwing your heels down towards the mat as you rotate the hips towards the ceiling. Three full breaths here, closing down the eyes wherever you can if you feel comfortable. Inhale, stepping the feet forward to meet the hands, folding forward to relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhale, to come up for a halfway lift, looking forward. Exhale once more to fall forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck, rolling the weight over into your toes. Sweeping the hands out wide as you come up. Into Urdhva Hastasana, hands overhead for an upward salute. Exhale to bring your hands to heart center. Twice more. 
hands starting down by our sides in mountain pose, feet together or hips width apart, whatever's most comfortable for you. Inhaling as you take your hands up and overhead. Exhaling to bring your hands to heart center before folding forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhaling up into a halfway lift, looking forward with a straight back. Planting your hand wherever is most comfortable for you on your legs. Exhaling as you fold forwards once more. Planting your hands, stepping back into your back. Elbows drawn in as you press down through Chaturanga into upward facing dog or low cobra, whichever is most comfortable for you at this point. Looking forward, shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. You push up and through the chest with each inhale. Exhale, pressing back into downward facing dog. Gaze towards your navel as your heels draw down towards the mat. Inhale, step the feet forwards to meet the hands, folding forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhale, coming up, looking forward for a halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Then now sweeping your arms out wide, coming all the way up over the sasana. Exhale to bring your hands to heart centre. Returning to mountain pose, hands down by your sides. Fingers spread wide. Inhaling, sweeping the hands out wide, coming up over the sasana. Shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. Exhale as you fold forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck, rolling the weight over into your toes. Deep inhale as you come up, looking forward for a halfway lift. Exhale to plant the hands, stepping back into a plank. Fingers spread wide as you draw your elbows in, pressing down through Chaturanga into upward facing dog. Engaging through the thighs to support you here. Drawing your hands back slightly as you push forward with your chest, looking forward. Exhale, pressing back into downward facing dog. And then have to set the feet forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck as you remain forward forward. Inhaling up into a halfway lift, looking forward. Exhaling, plant the hands, relaxing through the back of the neck as you roll your weight over into your toes. Sweeping your hands out wide. As you come all the way up, and inhale over the stars and our shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. Exhale to bring your hands to heart centre. Set one now, hands down by our sides, fingers spread wide, bringing our feet to hips width apart. We're going to inhale, hands overhead, upward salute. Exhale, coming down into chair pose. Sweeping the hands back, coming down graciously onto our thighs, lower abdomen to the thighs. Inhale, lifting as you fold forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck, hands down towards your heels. Inhale, sweeping the hands up, coming through chair, all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, hands overhead. 
and starting to bring the hands to heart center. Returning hands to mountain pose, shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. Inhale, taking the hands overhead, Urdhvanasasana. Exhale, coming down through chair. Sweeping the hands back as we draw our lower abdomen down towards our thighs. Dropping our hands towards the floor as we raise our hips. Extending our legs out, for forehead down towards the floor. Relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhale, sweeping the hands up and forward, pulling ourselves back through chair, all the way up, further the stasana. Exhale to bring our hands to heart center. Once more, hands down by our side, starting in mountain pose. Inhale as we sweep our hands up and overhead, further the stasana. Coming down through chair, holding briefly in chair before we draw our abdomen down towards our thighs, sweeping our hands all the way back. Lifting our hips up as we fold forwards, hands down towards our ankles or the floor, wherever is most comfortable for you. Relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhale, sweeping the hands all the way up, coming through chair slowly. We come all the way up into open and stuff, snap hands overhead. Exhale to bring the hands to heart center. Hands down by our sides, beginning in mountain pose. Inhale as we take our hands up and overhead, over the stasana. Exhale as we fold forward to relaxing through the back of the neck, planting the hands. Inhale to come up, looking forward for a halfway lift. Exhale and fold forward, planting the hands once more, stepping back into our plank. From plank, we are going to press back into downward facing dog to begin our standing series. Inhaling to raise the right leg towards the ceiling. Opening up the hips slightly, keeping the gaze towards the navel. Straightening the leg once more before drawing the knee all the way through to meet the chest. Before planting the foot between the hands coming up into a high lunge. On inhale, we're going to sweep the hands all the way up, coming into present pose, engaging through the thighs to hold us stable here. The back heel is lifted off of the mat, shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. Just a couple of deep breaths here. Exhale, turning the back foot out on a 45 degree angle. Bringing the hands down to eye level, gaze over your right hand as you come into warrior two. Just breathing into this pose, tucking your tailbone under, shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. Straighten the forward leg as you inhale. Taking the hands up and overhead for a wide-legged upward salute. Exhale, bending the forward leg, coming back down into warrior two. Just repeating now with your own breath, inhaling to come all the way up into an upward salute. Exhaling down into warrior two. Focusing on lengthening through, inhale and exhale. With each inhale, focusing all the new oxygenated blood on 
any of the muscles that are straining against you right now, particularly in your shoulders. On your next exhale, just hold in your warrior two. From here, we're going fold forwards, coming into triangle pose, either resting your elbow on your knee or extending the hand through towards the floor, whatever is most comfortable for you. Just getting a nice stretch through the side body here, opening up through the hips. Remember to keep your gaze towards your overhand. Fingers spread wide. This works our finger muscles. Exhale, slowly release. Coming through warrior two into peaceful warrior. Relaxing the bend in your forward leg slightly as you take your gaze towards your overhand. Here you should feel your breath in your outermost exposed edge of your ribcage. Inhale, stepping the feet together, hands overhead for an upward salute. Exhale, bring the hands to heart centre. Repeating now for the opposite side, and starting in mountain pose, shoulders drawn down and away from the ears. Inhale, in to sweep your hands all the way up and overhead, go for the stars now. Exhale, in to fall forwards, relaxing through the back of the neck. Inhaling, come up, looking forward for a halfway lift. Exhaling, plant the hands, stepping back into your plank. From here, pressing back into downward facing dog, taking your gaze towards your navel. Inhale to raise the left leg now, opening at the hip slightly. Keeping the gaze towards the navel. Inhale, straightening the leg towards the ceiling once more before drawing the knee all the way through towards the chest. Planting the foot in between the hands, coming up into a high lunge on the opposite side. Inhale, as you sweep your arms up and overhead, coming into crescent pose, engaging through the thighs of the forward and rear leg. The rear heel is off of the mat. Shoulders drawn down and away from the ears as you extend and open up through the chest. Exhale, turning the back foot out on a 45 degree angle. Hands down to eye level. For warrior two, drop shoulders drawn down and away from the ears, tailbone is tucked under, gaze over your left hand. Just breathing into this pose, straightening through your forward leg slightly, I want you to sweep your hand up and overhead, coming into an upward salute. Exhaling to return to warrior two, keeping the bend in that forward knee. Inhaling once more, coming up into an upward salute, straightening through the forward leg. Exhaling down into warrior two. Just continuing on your own now, moving dynamically between an upward salute and warrior two on inhale and exhale. Focusing on lengthening through the inhale and through the exhale. Focusing each inhale and fighting any of the muscles that are straining against your moves now. Couple more breaths here. And 
the next exhale, just following in uh, warrior two. From here, we're going to follow forwards, coming down into triangle pose, either resting your elbow on your knee or extending the hand all the way through towards the floor, taking your right hand up and overhead. The gaze is following that hand. Being with spread wide. Feeling a deep stretch through our right side body. Closing down your eyes if you feel comfortable here in this pose. Focusing on how each inhale is moving throughout your body. Where is the oxygen going? What muscles are sore and need healing? And exhale, slowly release, coming through warrior two, all the way into peaceful warrior, relaxing the bend in the forward leg slightly, gaze towards your overhead hand. Inhale, stepping the feet together, hands overhead for an upward salute. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Coming to the center of your mat now, taking your feet out wide, turning the toes in. We are going to do a wide legged forward fold, taking your hands out wide. I want you to fold forwards. Lifting up and out of the hips as you draw your forehead down towards the mat. Grasping at your hands around the outer edge of your calf muscles, feet wherever is most comfortable for you. As you draw your forehead down towards the floor. Inhale, lifting up, out of the hips slightly, coming up for a halfway lift. Looking forward, exhale, I want you to twist around now to your right side, grasping for the outer edge of your right leg as you draw your forehead down towards your right knee. More deep breaths here. Okay, inhale as you return to centre, looking forward for a halfway lift. Next, I need to twist around now to the left side, grasping for your outer edge of your left foot, toes wherever is most comfortable for you, as you draw your forehead down with your left knee. Just a couple more deep breaths here. Okay. Inhaling as you return to center for a halfway lift, looking forward. Taking your hands out wide as you hinge from the hips, coming all the way up. Stand just with your feet, hips width apart. Hands down by your sides. We're going to inhale, sweeping hands up and overhead in the open hastasana. Exhale, coming down into chair pose. Just holding here for a few breaths. 
Shoulders come down and away from your ears. Exhale and release, standing hips width apart with your hands at heart center. And then next exhale, coming down into chair. This time, keeping our hands at heart center, we are going to twist around to the right, drawing our left elbow down towards our right knee. Just holding for a couple of breaths here in this chair twist. Before that, out of this pose, just come back in within your own time. See if you can go a little bit deeper with each inhale. Okay. Exhale and release. Come in, stand with hands at heart center once more. Okay, repeating now for the opposite side. Exhale as you come down into the chair. Twisting around to the left, drawing our right elbow down towards our left knee. Our gaze is following our twist. See if we can come down a little bit deeper with each inhale. Exhale and release, returning to stand with our hands down by our sides. Mountain pose, shoulders drawn down and away from the knees. Just focusing on the breath now, moving throughout your body. How does it feel? Can you imagine the colour of your breath as it moves throughout your body? Does it have a different colour to what someone else might have, do you think? Okay, grounding down now through the right leg. We are going to bring our left foot to our lower calf or thigh, wherever is most comfortable for us. Hips square to the front of our to the front of our mat or the front of the room, wherever is most comfortable for you. Hands to heart center, a tree pose. Finding a spot on the floor or in front of us to hold our concentration. If you feel really comfortable closing down your eyes here to focus even further on finding your balance. So if you fall out of this pose, just come back in within your own time, that is okay. One side of you will be more balanced at the moment than the other. Three more breaths here. One more full breath. Exhale and release, giving the legs a shake out. Grounding down now through the left leg, bringing the right foot to the lower calf. Also, I wear it is most comfortable for you. Squaring hips to the front of the room or the mat once more. Hands to heart center as you find your concentration point. Closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable. Focusing on furthering it, your more. Balance even more. Three more full breaths here. Remembering to breathe fully, inflating through the stomach first, right through to the chest. And on exhale, drawing the navel towards the spine. One more full breath here. Exhale and release, giving our legs a shake out. Coming down now onto our mats, into a seated position. 
I would like you to extend the legs all the way out, toes drawn back towards you. Take your hands out behind you, lifting up out of the hips on inhale, opening up through the chest. The start pose, closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable here. Focusing each inhale and moving the breath around your body, connecting the breath to the body and your movements. And your next exhale, I'd like you to fold forwards, reaching for the outer edge of your calf muscles or toes, wherever is most comfortable for you. Drawing your forehead down towards your knees. And then coming down as far as comfortable for you. Lifting up out of the hips as you do so. Seeing if you can go a little bit deeper with each inhale. Next, down and release, returning once more to self pose, lifting up out of the hips on inhale, hands behind us. Toes draw back towards us. From here, I would like you to draw your left foot all the way in, placing the left foot on the outside of the right knee. Lift up out of the hips on the inhale, twisting around to take your gaze around behind you. Toes of the right foot drawn back towards you for a seated twist. If you wish to help deepen this twist, you can place your right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Just close your down and eyes here in this twist if you feel comfortable. Couple more breaths here in this pose. Each inhale is massaging our internal organs as they're currently in a slightly twisted position, detoxifying our body. One more full breath here. Exhaling to release. Switching the legs over, drawing the right knee in towards your chest, placing the right foot on the outside of the left knee. Left toes drawn back towards you. Inhaling as you lift up and out of the hips, twisting around now to the opposite side. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee for extra support in this twist if you need. Closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable. Massaging your internal organs with each inhale. Remembering to draw your navel in towards your spine with each exhale. Just a couple more breaths here in this twist. One more deep, full breath. And exhale to release. Stretching the legs all the way out. Watching now to come down onto the back. Palms down by your sides. You're going to draw the knees in. 
lifting the legs all the way towards the ceiling, arms down by our sides. Just holding here and legs up the wall post for a few moments. Exhale, slowly begin to lower the legs towards the floor. But before you get all the way to the floor, I just want you to let your legs hover roughly two to three inches above the floor, working through our core muscles here. Exhale to completely release, returning once more to a supine position. Inhaling as you raise your legs up towards the ceiling, keeping a slight bend in your knees if you need. Exhale, slowly lowering the legs down towards the floor. Holding the legs roughly three, two to three inches above the floor. Just work through our core muscles. And exhale completely to release. On your next inhale, I want you to inhale, coming all the way up into boat pose. You've got a couple of variations here. You can have your knees bent such as this, for extending your legs all the way out, engaging through the core to hold you here in this pose. And then come in deep into this pose as you feel comfortable. Exhale, slowly release, coming down to your mat once more. Inhale once more, coming up into boat pose, either with the knees bent or extended all the way out for full boat pose. And exhale and release. Rolling over through your right side onto your stomach now. Hands down by your sides, thumbs pointing down towards the mat. I want you to have your fingers spread wide. Inhale to lift up out of the chest, keeping the legs locked and engaged together as you come up into lotus pose. Exhale and release, bringing your right ear to the floor. Inhale, coming up once more into lotus pose, lifting up on inhale out of the chest. Exhale, release, left ear to the floor. Sweeping your hands out wide, palms facing down, legs locked together. We are going to inhale, lifting up out of the chest. Arms and legs off the floor for low plank, for airplane pose. Exhale and release. Right into the floor. Repeating once more. Inhale to lift up, coming into airplane. Exhale and release. Drawing your hands in by the shoulders. I want you to inhale, lifting up into low cobra, engaging through the thighs. You draw your hands back slightly. And exhale to release right ear to the floor. Hands remaining, remaining by your shoulders. You're going to inhale, pull your hands back slightly as you lift up out of your chest for baby cobra. And exhale and release, returning to the mat once more. Taking your feet out, uh, mats with the part, creating a diamond with your hands, relaxing your head into your hands, just lying in the pocket of those for a few moments. If you wish you can shake your hips from side to side just a little bit to loosen it through your lower back after the baby back bends. A couple more deep, full breaths here. Inhale, 
Inhale, press it back from crocodile into extended child's pose. Taking a few minutes of extended child's pose and feel how your breath is moving through your lower abdomen. Feel it moving each rise and fall against your upper thighs. Inhale, pressing up into a tabletop position, turning over onto your back once more, keeping the knees drawn in so your feet are planted firmly on the mat. I want you to place your hands down by your side. We're going to do a dynamic movement today with bridge pose. On inhale, we're going to raise our hips at the same time as we extend our hands up and overhead until reaching for the top of our mats. On exhale, we're going to release, bringing our hips and hands back down to the mat. Inhale once more, hips towards the ceiling, hands up and overhead, chin towards the chest, Drawing our diaphragm in and up on exhale. Inhale on in. Exhale completely to release. Hands down by our sides. We'll do this once more. Inhaling to lift up the hips. Sweeping the hands up and overhead, chin to chest. Diaphragm drawn in and up. Exhale, releasing, returning to the mat. We'll now repeat what, once more, but this time we'll just go into normal bridge pose. So inhale, lifting up the hips, clasping the hands under our back for extra support as we raise our hips up towards the ceiling. Then if you can go a little bit deeper with each inhale. Chin to chest to gaze over your navel. Just holding here for a couple more full breaths. Exhale and release. Coming back down onto our mat. Drawing your knees in towards your chest, clasping your hands tightly around your knees. I want you to rock gently from side to side, working through that lower spine, working out any last final kinks. Chin to chest to help elongate through our spine here. And then next exhale, sweeping the hands out wide, palms facing down. I want you to relax your legs over to the left, taking your gaze towards the right. If you wish to deepen this supine twist, you can extend your legs all the way out. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to keep your knees bent. Whatever is most comfortable with you. Closing down the eyes if you feel comfortable here. Inhale, drawing the knees in, coming up through centre. Exhaling to relax the legs over to the right, taking your gaze towards the left. Inhaling to draw your knees in, like returning to centre. From here, I'd like you to raise your legs towards the ceiling for legs up the wall pose. Don't 
just to go down the full Shavasana. Pose going down towards you, a slight bend in your knees if you need. Palms down by your sides or out of the wide, whatever is most comfortable for you. Closing down the eyes as we begin to relax and unwind from this session. Focusing purely on how the breath is moving throughout the body. Exhale, slowly releasing the legs down to the mat, kicking the mat, mats at the part, letting the legs fall out, turning the palms over, palms facing the ceiling. Tuck your chin slightly towards your chest to help elongate through the spine here for our final resting pose, Savasana. Each inhale, focusing on how the breath is moving throughout the body. As you move the breath around the body, relaxing the muscles. So much so that you almost feel like you've become one with the floor. Passing away any negative energies that no longer serve you. We do not want to carry that negative energy with us into the new week. We want to start it fresh and anew. Take time to thank yourself for coming to the mat today. Take the time out of your day to care for yourself, mind, body and spirit. Inhale, I want you to draw your feet in, placing them together so the big toes are touching. Sweeping the hands all the way up and overhead to so reach forward to the top of your mat. Stretch all the way through from your fingertips to your toes, your toes to your fingertips. Rolling over through your left side. Slowly pressing up from there into a comfortable seated position, bringing your hands to heart center, bowing to close today's class. Namaste. Thank you for coming along, and there'll be another session on Wednesday if you'd like to join. I hope you really enjoyed that class, and yeah, thank you for joining me on that today. <laughs>